to achieve inclusive and sustainable growth, we need to understand what are the factors that prevents women's access to decent work because these are country specific and multidimensional. For Sri Lanka, having high education and supportive household composition enhances women's access to decent work while high unemployment rate, agricultural employment, inefficiencies in law enforcement, traditional conception on gender roles and lack of affordability of childcare facilities and safe public transport have prevented women's access to decent work. Policy reforms that help removing these obstacles will enhance us creating gender inclusive labour markets for Sri Lanka. The most important insight that we gain from the, this study is the understanding of how gender dynamics works in Sri Lanka at different levels and how they impact women's access to decent work. And this understanding helps us in uh, accurately interpreting our results and also to come up with better policy recommendations that align with the country's socio-economic context.